Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here and welcome to a new series. It is none other than a Spyro 3 hacking series. I just pressed the L1 button and I am now flying super super high. Now I press the L1 button, you see there will be a code that will be provided in the description which will basically show you what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be using the utilizing the moon jump hack to be doing a wide variety of different tricks and, and stuff like that. Now I'm actually trying to enter Sheila's Alp but not in a normal way. I don't even have to actually pay for the portal because I can actually go in right there. See? Okay, so if I hold down the L1 button right now, Spyro disappears, he's moon jumped up high. Now if I keep holding this, what's going to happen is I appear above. Now look where I just landed. Believe this. Can you believe this? I am right now in Sheila's Alp. I'm not even meant to be. Spyro is in Sheila's Alp. Now there's a few videos of this amazing development, uh, but overall not that many. Now the first thing you want to note is that the box of the level is actually connected to the level but not in a traditional sense. You see it's right down there. I'm gonna show you this. Look, you can kill the enemies normally like that. Absolutely fantastic honestly. Uh, wait one second. I'm just gonna quickly put the sound a bit lower. There we go. So yeah, you see that you can kill enemies normally. You can, for example, flame these. That actually does the job, which is kind of awesome. You cannot touch water. You basically can't do anything that's kind of different. I don't know how to like explain that. But you see there's going to be a lot of restrictions in this in these uh, videos because, for example, the jump isn't really even meant to be, you know, done. See, like that. Like, you're meant to be, you know, Sheila who can jump nice and high. You can, you know, destroy things, you can get gems just like every normal section, that's all good. That's all well and good, but it's not the same. So yeah, it is glitchy, but basically by holding down, hold down L1 and you will moon jump, you'll just continually moon jump. And once you've done that, you will skip the box that you're meant to enter where you talk to Sheila and you'll be done. So it's it's pretty damn amazing, isn't it? Wow, I'm just, I'm going to actually collect, I'm going to actually complete much of the level. Now... You'll see that when you go down here, do not touch the water, and that's where stuff gets dangerous. Uh, now, I'm going to be doing this, it's probably going to be at the very least 10, 15 videos of this uh, kind of thing taking place now. For example, watch the, watch the game will crash if I don't do... Hiya, Sheila. My name is not Sheila, come on. you got to listen to me. I'm, you know, why, why would I... Why would I I'm, I'm Spyro. Do I look like a Sheila to you? Well, I'm not. So, yeah, I'm not going to bother with that. I kept actually kept screwing up, which is kind of hilarious. Now, it's interesting the amount of stuff that's actually, you know, regular sort of item there. Look, very, very nice. Whoa. Eternally stuck in a falling. Well, I actually couldn't get out of that. That's interesting. Now, you can kill the enemies like normal. You can get the, the, uh, or, I'm uh, not orb, sorry, the, the dragon eggs like normal, which is really nice. Get up really yeah, it's like get up really steep cliffs by gliding. Well, no, unfortunately, gliding will not do the trick, laddie. All right, so here we are out here. Actually, I will show you what it's like. Actually, these things here, these are quite difficult to get. You can't just destroy them in a normal capacity like that. You can't flame them. You actually have to, you know, boom them like that, destroy them. All right. Whoop. Ah, ah, ah. Oh. But you can get them on the corner like that. Like if you get enough sort of edge on it, you can you can do it. But yeah, it's not. I wouldn't call it easy, just because like you, or it just depends on how much you know to angle your jump and stuff like that. But um, yeah. So has anyone else tried this out before? I know Ratchet Five has. I know Mr. Modes has. Um, nice lag out there. Um, I know those two. There's two videos of them. You know they they've got this kind of a, a small amount of videos of that. But I'm gonna be this will be the most extensive amount of like hacking you would probably see on YouTube in terms of each section being covered. For example, I'm going to be going to the boxing arena, you know, with the Bentley. I'm going to be going to bits, even a Spyro that usually can't get in inside or, you know, normally. So just just bunch of random sort of stuff like that. Now, it's kind of awesome to appreciate this level as Spyro. It makes you think, like, you know, like just how much these levels are actually intended to be, you know, you know, uh, Sheila levels or, or Agent Nine levels and stuff like that. Like just all the all the way 
that they've designed look exactly like that. For example, as you're gonna, I'm gonna, you're gonna see something kind of interesting in Bentley's level. Definitely, I think it's quite interesting what they do with Bentley, um, the way they code them and stuff like that. You, you will see that will probably be in six or seven parts or something. Uh, home at last. An omelet. Well, and look, even what's even better is like, like Spyro the model actually collects an egg like this. Like for example, you could go and get every egg as like you know pretty much every egg except for the sh sparks ones. But I will be showing off the Sparks hack because I think they're kind of pretty damn awesome. Okay, let's try and... I wish... One thing I wish I could do is make the... Make the, the this jump a little bit lower because you can't really... My issue with it is that you can't really see a whole heap. Like, for example, I don't really know where I am right now. There I am. All right. Okay, awesome. See if I can make this jump. No, I can't. So, yeah, what else can we show off? Let's try and visit. I want to try and visit every area. I love the fact that you can actually... Wait, look at this. Ready? You can actually sit on this. They actually made this as a proper object. Just That's just awesome to me. Um, we can go over to here, and this obviously leads to a lot of trouble. Now, I'm also going to show you the box that actually makes all this happen. Right, I will show that because you know it's like you got to do it before you talk to them. You have to. That's why you hold down R1 or L1, sorry, because you want to do. You want to basically the, the way the glitch works. As I was explaining to, I was explaining this to Ellen actually. I showed her uh, on, on, like on Skype, what I was showing like how it works, and she was kind of saying and like kind of like amazed, and that's that that that's how you actually do it. You know, like it's not just like this kind of a hack in the traditional sense. You're really well, it's not a hack in that way, it's a hack because what you're doing is you're basically tricking the game because, like, basically, if that box didn't exist, if you didn't see Spyro, there'd be no way to access this, right? But because you're basically circumventing the box before you talk to Sheila, that's that's how it works. So the box can be found basically pretty close to uh, where the entrance is because basically that entrance portal is a fraud. That's basically, that's that's... In simple terms, that that box there is a fraud. So, I'm trying to find it now. I think it's around the corner, or is it somewhere else? Here it is. Here's the box. So as soon as you talk to Sheila, that's it for you. So look, it gives you the illusion, like, oh yeah, we're going in here. There's nothing there. It's all just a warp and a mind trick. So if you go through here. Again, nothing. And you notice there's always some really cool designs in these these boxes here like this. It's just awesome to be actually like in in here. Like it's I, don't know, I just think it's really really a nice addition. Now let's glide over to here, get our last bit. It's good to appreciate the background as well. Alright. And some extra lives, of course. Alright, well with that, that concludes this part. You guys are gonna love this. I well, at least I really hope you do. Um, I am absolutely having a ball. We're going to be recording this. I think it's just honestly awesome. So, in actually, I'm not going to say in the next part. I'm just going to say, stay tuned, and you know, keep keep watching. And if you ever forget to do something, do it. All right. Thank you for watching. See you later.